Coucou les puces, hello my loves, marhaba habibete. So time today for a product review on this votary cleansing oil. I picked this up uh, in my UK California haul. I will link it down below. And I've been putting it to the test and I wanted to update you. So this retails for 45 pounds for the, I think it's 100 mils. Yeah, 100 milliliters of products. It has made it into our most dearly beloved, I feel like I'm going to perform a ceremony, uh, Caroline Hiron's like best of most used beauty products, and so it's been getting a lot of hype. Um, I bought mine at Liberty's. It says on the Liberty's website that it's in stock, um, and that's where I originally, originally placed my order, and then a week out I got an email from Liberty's that said that they actually weren't in stock, so when I was in London I picked it up. So um, I'm not the biggest fan. What I'm trying to say is if you don't have to go by way of the Liberty's website, I would recommend that. If you get it off votary.co.uk or in-store or whatever, it's probably better than trying your luck with a website. Um, I'm putting this test to see if it's worth it. Caroline Hines raves about it in saying that it's like the Bentley of cleansing oils. And I don't have a huge amount of experience with cleansing oils. Um, I mean, I use the one by Nude that I actually really enjoy. Um, and I've used the one by MAC, but I don't have a huge repertoire, uh, if you will. Cleansing balms, however, are my jam. Basically what I'm trying to get at is the bottom line is, do I think it's worth 45 pounds? Not really. It's lovely, and I'll talk about it and stuff, but I just, I don't, I don't see the 45 pounds worth. I will use it. It is a lovely product, but I probably won't repurchase it, is what I'm trying to say. So it comes in this box right here, and it comes with a cleansing cloth which is like so, which looks kind of really nice and lush. It's got that kind of um, terry cloth material to it. Uh, and then it uh, is that so, and it has a, like a pump top and a lid. So it smells, so what's interesting is that my sister smelt it because she's now realized that a lot of the stuff that I spend a lot of money on that go on my face smell really good, and she goes... What is that? I don't like it. Don't buy it. I'm like, I have to buy it. Um, so it smells fine, but it's supposed to have rose gener geranium and apricot, and I don't necessarily smell either of those. It does smell spa-ish, but not like my favorite pampering kind of spa. It, it smells fine. Um, and it's a clear liquid, so the bottle's green, but it's a clear liquid, and you just put it into your hands. It's an oil, so I'm not going to spill it everywhere. But, you know, massage it in. You could use it to take off your makeup. Um, I just think it's probably a waste. It takes off makeup okay. I tried it once. Um, it didn't take all my mascara off, but it removed most of my makeup fine. I just think that it's a waste at that price point to use it on removing makeup. Um, and what I will say is that it's it leaves the skin feeling fresh, um, feeling soft. It does feel really soft and lovely and clean. My problem is, like, I think for this price, Noelle has <laughs> some choosier language on when I decide to... I was, we had a whole conversation today about Natasha Denona eyeshadows, and she goes, mm -mm. she's like, that must, like, make you dinner and wash the dishes. Okay, it was, an, it was a, a less PG version of that, but, uh, but yeah. For me, I just, if I'm going to spend that much on a cleanser, I want it to be a balm. There's something about a balm just feels luxurious and, and creamy and beautiful. Like, I want it to be my Emma Hardy cleansing balm. Between the smell and the way that it feels on the skin and the way it leaves me feeling as much a part of the experience as the after, um, I want it to do that if I'm going to drop this kind of money on it. So while this is lovely, and I do recommend it if you love cleansing oils, if you're really passionate about them, um, and if you've been interested, it, it's lovely. I think, though, if it was half the price, I would definitely repurchase, but with this price point, it's just a little bit too steep, um, I think. I'm missing on the sensorial experience of it all. So yeah, that's just my little thoughts on this guy. Uh, let me know if you guys have tried it out in your thoughts or whatever else you've been using as a cleanser recently that you've been enjoying. Okay, I think that's it for me today. I'm going to do some points of positivity and I'll be done. My first point of positivity is a really yummy breakfast wrap I had this morning. My second is getting to chat with my sister. And my third is talking to Noelle. The reason she came to mind is because we had this conversation today. Um, so yeah, I will link Noelle's channel down below. As always, thank you guys for hanging out. I will see you guys soon. But before I leave you, as always, let me remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.